Hello, my name is Dr. Mina McCary, and I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. I'll be going over your procedure in interventional radiology. You'll be having a port uh, removal today. A port is actually a device used to provide uh, IV access for medication or other treatments, and it consists of a chamber connected to a catheter or a tube that go through a vein in their chest. We remove the port when it's no longer needed or if it's not functioning properly or in the setting of infection or a blood clot, for example. The benefit of this procedure is to remove a device you no longer need or to address the issues I mentioned before. The risks of the procedure include pain, infection, and bleeding. We minimize these risks through the use of anesthetics and sterile techniques and uh, minimally invasive uh, small incisions. Some patients with sensitive skin might have soreness or bruising for a few days as well. Additional risks include uh, catheter breakage or retention, which is uncommon but can occur. When you are transferred to the procedure room, your loved ones will return to the waiting area and will have access to complimentary Wi-Fi and snacks. A member of our team will then be available for questions and updates on your progress. In the procedure room, you will have your blood pressure and pulse and other vitals checked. For safety purposes, you may be also asked many of the same questions you've been asked before, specifically verifying the procedure and its location, your allergies and your medications. Port removal is generally performed under moderate or twilight sedation, where you're sleepy or relaxed, but uh, able to respond to your physician and breathe on your own. Your physician will discuss also your personal sedation needs and uh, ensure you're comfortable during the procedure. Additionally, we administer a local anesthetic or numbing medication to your skin to make sure the area is numb. We then make a small incision over the port and remove it. Occasionally, a more complex removal may be required with additional incisions uh, in your veins, in your groin, and your neck. And this may be needed for fragile or broken ports which is most common for ports that have been there for a long period of time. Once your doctor feels you're in good condition to go home, your care team will provide you with verbal and written instructions on what to expect next. The incision site is usually closed with dissolvable stitches under the skin, so you don't need to come back for the removal. They get absorbed on their own. After the procedure, we do recommend uh, no showering for 24 hours. When you do shower after that time period, uh, please keep a clean, dry dressing on the site for the first week. We also recommend not performing any strenuous upper body activity or heavy lifting for the first week. Once your skin incision heals, there are no restrictions. If you have any concerns or any questions arise, please call 614-293-2773 to speak to a member of our team. Our goal is to make sure you're comfortable during the procedure and have a great experience today. So please do not hesitate to ask your physician or any member of your healthcare team if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do to ensure you're comfortable during a visit. Thank you for choosing Ohio State for your interventional radiology care needs.